For a long time, conventional wisdom was that when it came to hauling a lot of people around, bigger was always better. You needed a big SUV with a big engine. In recent years though, that mentality has changed, and now downsizing is the next big thing. The new GMC Acadia takes that lesson to heart. It can still seat up to seven people inside, but it's shorter, narrower, and about 700 pounds lighter than the old Acadia. How does it look? GMC traditionally makes its vehicles slightly butch and boxy looking, but the Acadia is a little bit different. It's a lot sleeker and rounder and more curved than the old one. This is the Denali trim level, so you also get a lot of chrome trim, shiny 20 inch wheels, HID headlights and LED running lights. Overall, it looks pretty good, and somehow it looks a lot more compact than it really is. How's the storage? With all three rows of seats in use, there isn't a huge amount of storage space. 12.3 cubic feet, which is about the same as you get in a Ford Fiesta hatchback. Fortunately, lowering the third row is really, really easy, and when you do, you get a big, wide open storage area. Cup holders abound throughout the cabin, and there's a good amount of storage in the center console up front. You can fit your phone in the cubby ahead of the shifter, putting it right next to the USB ports, which is really nice. This slide-out tray for the second row seats is pretty cool, but I have this fear that kids would use it to hide gum wrappers and use Kleenex. Is it roomy? The driver's seat is really roomy in every direction, but there's one sort of unusual issue. Most people buy crossovers in part to sit way up high above other cars. I don't get that sensation in the Acadia, perhaps partly because the dashboard and hood are so high relative to the driving position. The second row seats are plenty comfortable too, with enough space that an adult could ride back here without complaints. But in the third row, well, the seats are too low to the floor and knee room is minimal. It is easy to get back here, but it's really for kids only. How does the interior feel? Everything you touch feels really soft and plush, and all the switches and controls are definitely on the more premium end of what you get in most three-row crossovers. My big gripe is this fake wood trim. It's just a hard plastic with the graining painted on, which looks pretty lame given that Denali is GMC's fanciest trim level. Is it well equipped? Denali is the top trim level for the GMC Acadia, so it has tons of great features. A Bose sound system, a heated steering wheel, heated rear seats, remote start, touchscreen navigation, and so on. And then this one adds on a couple of other options, continuously variable damping suspension, dual sunroofs, and adaptive cruise control. Some other neat things in here, there are five USB ports to charge all your gadgets, a 120 volt power outlet for the second row, and even another 12 volt outlet in the cargo area. How's the infotainment system? General Motors makes a really nice eight inch touchscreen infotainment system. Between the physical controls between the screen and the big bold icons on screen, it's one of the simplest in-car systems to use at a glance. It can do navigation, read text messages, show you the weather forecast, play internet radio, and it even has a 4G LTE hotspot if you pay for the subscription fees. And yes, for you smartphone geeks, both Apple CarPlay and Android Auto are supported. Is it a good daily driver? There's a lot to like overall about driving in the Acadia. The steering's nice, the automatic transmission's really smooth. I really like this clear and reconfigurable color instrument display. Uh, overall, yeah, it's a really pleasant car to drive. Now, one really cool feature on this car, which is great for family buyers, is called rear seat alert. So if you open the back door before you start driving and put something there, when you stop the car, you get a chime and a warning message to tell you to go and check the back seat. The idea is to stop you from accidentally forgetting your kid in the back seat, leaving them in a hot car all day, although it also works if you throw your laptop or backpack back there. Now you can turn that feature off if you don't like it, but it does seem like a pretty cool safety feature. Is it fun to drive? Three row crossovers are really that much fun to drive, and the GMC Acadia is no exception. 
the best thing I can say is the V6 engine is pretty gutsy and the optional continuously variable damping suspension on this model, it keeps the body pretty well controlled. How's the fuel economy? The V6 gets 18 miles per gallon city and 25 highway, which is about average for rival three row V6 powered crossovers. There is a four cylinder engine available for the Acadia, which returns 21 miles per gallon city and up to 26 highway, but it only makes 193 horsepower versus 310 horsepower in this V6. How much is it? Pricing starts just under $30,000 with front wheel drive and the four cylinder engine. By the time you get up to this all wheel drive Denali, you're spending $48,000. And then this test car has another $4,400 in options. That's a little on the pricey side for a three row family crossover. Many of this car's rivals top out in the high $40,000 range. Although the Ford Explorer Platinum is costlier still than this GMC. What are the negatives? If you regularly need to use the third row or carry a lot of stuff, the Acadia might not be the best choice. It's a little more cramped than rivals like the Honda Pilot. And if you're buying a crossover primarily so you get that feeling of sitting way higher than every other car on the road, well, as I said before, the Acadia doesn't give you the most commanding vantage point possible. Who should buy it? The GMC Acadia isn't my favorite three-row crossover, but it's definitely worth looking at if you're shopping in this popular segment. It's got a lot of great modern features, it looks stylish, and it drives pretty well. It's a good choice for families who only occasionally need a third row of seats. If you liked this YY video, don't forget there's a new one every Thursday, so make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel so you see them all. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter or at motorone.com, and links to all of those are right here in the description panel. And don't forget to leave a comment letting us know what else you'd like to see in future YBys. He has a juice box, he'll be fine for like four to ten hours.